What's up, guys? I'm David. I'm Thing. I'm Amelia. And today, uh, you guys are going to be trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. Play. All right, let's 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 get into it. So it's a chill yeah. Friday night. Your buddy calls you up and says he's having a party at his house. He asks you if you want to go. You politely decline because screw being social, am I right? But he keeps persisting, so you eventually give in. You hop in the car and turn it on, but then you notice that there's an engine warning. He doesn't live too far away, so you can either walk there or ignore the warning and take the car anyway. Which one do you choose? Um, what time of d- night is this? Uh, yeah, it's like 3 a.m. then hell no. Uh, it, it's like 7 p.m. Oh. Mm-mm. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. I'm gonna keep driving if I'm alone. If I'm if I'm with no one else in the car, then I'm I'm gonna stay inside the car and keep driving. Okay, so Amelia, you decide to take the car thing. What do you do? Yeah. I am not gonna take the car. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So thing, you decide to walk, but along the way, a random stray dog attacks you and you die. Oh, what the hell, dude? Come on, that's so cool. <laughs> Amelia, you decide to take the car anyway. So you take the car and the warning doesn't seem to affect it. You arrive at the party and you end up having a few drinks, doing lots of drugs, all the responsible things to do, you know? Yay, my favourite things to do. You end up passing out, but when you wake up the next morning, the house is empty. You go out to the window and see people running and panicking. One lady is running away from something. You look closely and see that it looks like a zombie. Yup, that's right. It's the start of a zombie apocalypse and you guys are going to have to survive. So what do you guys um, do in a zombie apocalypse? What's the first thing? Um, uh, I don't know much about the zombie. Like if I knew like the zombie's weakness, I would like use that. But I don't know anything about I mean, I, I guess they'd be kind of slow, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I'll climb up the tree or something. Maybe, um, no, I'll climb on the roof. Maybe they're like those I'll fast go- zombies though. Mm. But yeah, okay, so Amelia decides to climb on the roof <laughs> thing. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah, climbing on the roof. I mean, I guess they can't climb. Oh, so you I've both want to climb climbing. on the roof? Yeah, I'll also climb on the roof, yep. Okay, so you, uh, the zombie climbs off the roof as well and eats you both. Bro. There's like no happy ending. I'll slide down the chimney before it gets to me. Uh, no, you can't do that. Oh. Is there Uh, a trampoline in the backyard? No. Okay, so basically the best thing to do in that situation would be to fortify the house. So you want to board up the windows and the doors. That's the number one priority because you want to create a safe base for you to uh, to stop zombies from getting in. So you take the time to check the house and make sure it's empty before securing the entrances. You test the lights in the house, but they don't seem to work. The electricity must be out. You don't know how long you'll be stuck here, so you decide to search the house for any resources you can find. You sort all the food into rations and collect a bunch of items from around the house. All of a sudden, you hear a window break in the other room. You must have forgot to board it up. You look through the items you just gathered and find a crowbar, a baseball bat, and a banana. Which one do you choose as a weapon? Um, I... I'm I'm going for the banana. Yeah! Yeah. (laughs) Potassium power. No, bananas are OP. You should see them. (laughs) I'm I'm a... Eat the banana, put the banana peel on the floor, and just watch the zombie slip, right? And they'll like, uh, use that as a diversion, and then I, I don't know, find a hiding spot, I guess. Okay, so you decide to pick a banana, Amelia? Um, I'm gonna pick the crowbar, just because, oh wait, actually the baseball bat, because I think it'll be easier, actually no, the crowbar, because it'll be easier to swing. The crowbar? Yeah. Okay, so you go into the other room, and you see that a zombie has gotten in. You swing the crowbar at it, but miss. Before you have time to swing again, the zombie launches at you and attacks you. That is one death to you. Oh, rip. Yeah. Thing, you chose a banana. banana. Yeah, you chose a banana. So you pick up the banana and take it into the other room. The zombie runs at you and tries to bite you. You hold out the banana and shove it into the zombie's mouth, causing it to deep throat it. (laughs) The zombie immediately drops to the floor and starts shaking. You take a step back and observe. After a few moments, the zombie gets up, but it's not a zombie anymore. It's a man. Bananas must be the cure. The man explains that his name is Jimmy and that he hates Monopoly. Instantly, you two become best friends and come up with a cool secret handshake. He helps you board up the last window and you show him all the resources you gathered from the house. There's only enough food to last both of you a few days and there's no more bananas left. 
You two plot a bit and decide you'll need to go to the grocery store if you want more bananas to cure more people. There are currently zombies all around out the outside of the house and Jimmy tells you that there's way too many so leaving the house now would be a death sentence. Do you listen to Jimmy and stay inside or do you ignore him and go for the grocery store? Do we have the option for grocery delivery services? Yeah, like we can just Uber the bananas. And uh, I actually know no, that wouldn't make sense because everyone's a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone's <laughs> a zombie. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm listening to Jimmy. He sounds like a pretty nice man. My banana cured him. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Don't, don't take that out of context. <laughs> but you know, yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll listen to him. I'll listen to him as well. Okay, good job. Okay, so you both listen to Jimmy and you spend the rest of the day chatting to him and hanging out. When you wake up the next morning, everything seems quiet. You peek through a gap in the boards on the window and there are no more people outside and all the zombies are roaming around slowly. Both you and Jimmy agree that leaving now would be the best option. You pack the rest of your food, medical supplies and some leftover alcohol from the party. You quietly open the door and begin sneakily making your way around the grocery store. On the way, you accidentally step on a piece of broken metal which makes a sound. All the zombies turn to you and start running towards you and Jimmy. Do you start running, ask Jimmy for help or do you check the backpack for something useful? Hmm, well, wait, what do we put in the backpack? Ah, uh, mm, food, medical supplies, and leftover alcohol. But there might be other stuff. Maybe we could use, like, wait, is the alcohol in, like, a glass bottle? Uh, yeah. So maybe we can, like, use the bottle as, like, a weapon, I guess. Okay, just well... Throw some alcohol bottles. Okay, so the option is just check backpack, because I've already pre-written what you're going to do if you do that. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, okay, let's not do that then. Okay. Um... Wait, what were the other options? So you can either start running, ask Jimmy for help, or check the backpack. I'm gonna ask Jimmy for help, bro. He's like, he's an Einstein. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, we trust him. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, go that trust same Jimmy. way. And Jimmy, we trust. Nice, nice. So you ask Jimmy for help. Luckily, Jimmy is an expert at stealing money, so he steals all the zombies' money, causing them to go broke. The zombies get super sad that their money is gone, and now they have no mental energy left to chase you. You make your way. No. You make your way to the grocery store and lock yourselves in. You head to the fruit section and see the bananas, but just then, Joe Biden comes out with a gun. Plot twist. He explains that the government. <laughs> He explains that the government intentionally released the zombie virus because they were bored and thought it would be cool to zombify everyone. And now you and Jimmy are ruining their fun. Joe Biden points the gun at you and says, any last words? What do you say? There's lots of things to say. I'd read the whole book of life. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, actually, no, I'd read the whole Bible, the New Testament. Yeah, that's what I do. Amelia? Um, so is the only thing I can do like say something? Yeah, what do you got to say? You got to pick what you got to say. Um, I'm going to say... I'm, um, I, I'm not going to say no, anything. you. I'm just going to freeze up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to collapse and just fall to the ground and pretend I died. Okay, so Amelia plays dead. <laughs> yeah, and, and thing, you were going to read the Bible, did you say? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to summon the power of Jesus. All right, so, thing, you summon the power of Jesus and... Joe Biden's like, okay, cool. I, I trust you. And, and that's chilling. Amelia, you decide to play dead. And yeah, you're also chilling because Joe Biden forgets what he said and where he is and he just wanders off. <laughs> Classic Joe <Okay>. Biden. <laughs> ah, so, so you go over to the bananas, but then you realize that you actually need to distribute them to the entire country. Otherwise, the virus will just keep spreading. How do you distribute the bananas to all of the United States? Uber. They're, everyone's a zombie still. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go GTA it and like go get a helicopter and just just drop it everywhere. Oh, okay. yeah. Good old helicopter. We'd make, like a, we'd make like a banana nuke or something. How are you going to make a banana nuke? We just do. We take like a nuke and put a bunch of bananas in it. <laughs> Where are you going to get that nuke from? I don't know. Joe Biden? He's long gone. He, he's already like walked away. Shoot, I don't know. Can't you just buy one off of Amazon? Oh, well, there's no electricity. All right, how about you make a makeshift nuke out of the stuff in the grocery store? That could work, yeah. You make a makeshift nuke? Amelia, you go steal a helicopter and start dropping bananas everywhere. And it works! All the people on the planet get bananas in their throats and, and get unzombified. You and Jimmy remain good friends and eat bananas together every day. 
Congratulations, you guys just survived the zombie apocalypse. Yay! What about my nuke? Did that do anything? Yeah, that worked. How's it go? Okay, well, Wait. I actually don't know who won, so I'm gonna pop it up on screen. This person won, yay! Okay, cool. Wait, wait, what happened to Joe Biden? Is he like... Oh, he fell asleep somewhere. Oh, yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, did Joe Biden end up eating a banana? Uh, no, he wasn't a zombie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Joe Biden. All right. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks to Thing and Amelia for coming on. Yeah. Yay. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like and subscribe. And make sure to um, comment. Yeah. yeah. Say who your favorite comment person favorite. is. It's obviously me, of course. Uh, it's definitely me. I respect to me. <laughs> Without my banana, we wouldn't have gotten a happy ending. Yo, comment below okay, if things banana is the best. Everyone loves my bananas. Okay, see ya.